And as you just heard, four of the eight people who were killed were followers of Sikhism. That's one of the world's largest religions. Even though police say there's no evidence they were targeted because of their religion, as Vince Lovergine tells us now, that doesn't make the loss any easier. Sikhism was founded over 500 years ago. It's the fifth largest religion in the world, with the following of over 20 million people. After learning his fellow Sikhs were killed in Indianapolis, Jesse Singh of the Indiana Sikh Outreach Mission tells me this tragedy hurts a lot. It is uh, uh, something to worry about. Uh, it's concerning. Jesse Singh, the founder of Indiana Sikh Outreach Mission in Fort Wayne, is a Sikh charity that offers food and other resources to people in need. He tells me the moment he heard of the tragedy, it was not easy. It got shocked me, you know. I said, what? Indianapolis? I felt like it happened right there, next door. Singh moved from Indianapolis to Fort Wayne several years ago. He says this news is scary. Last few months, couple months, it's been every day uh, shooting all over the United States, and it's, it was already alarming and concerning. Um, even my kid, is he's a fifth grade student, he is concerned. He said, what's going on, Dad? Singh tells me he's been watching the gun violence play out in this country, and he grieves for those who have been affected. Whenever there's a shooting, obviously everybody who loves the community, they, they got hurt, you know, uh, and uh, we said for everybody, as uh, whenever it happened. I asked saying how his community, which abhors violence, will move forward. We will keep going out to the community and just to keep providing uh, our service and uh, our safety with the people. We, we should do something about gun laws. Killing the suspect or bring them to the justice is very short. Singh plans to reach out to his fellow Sikhs in Indianapolis to help however he can.